Atlas Mark from Two Dog RC. Now that you've got 3.2 on your Die Tune Crusader GT2 or any ship really, I'm going to show you the next step to get some of the cool features that are in this. So the next thing we have to do is update your speed controllers. Now again, this is for the Diatone 2017 GT2. This is also specific to, the, not really sp specific, but kind of specific to the 302 XD speed controllers. Do not do this with the 302 X speed controllers. They're totally different. So first thing you need to do is go to the Chrome store and download the BL Heli configurator. This is what you use to configure your speed controllers. Okay, so you get that from the Chrome store just like you would do Betaflight. You don't need to install drivers because you've already got that if you've already connected to your thing. So then you plug your ship into the computer. You're also going to need a battery and a smoke stopper for this. So this procedure, you really want to make sure you take your props off because if things go wrong, a motor could spool up and cut you. Uh, so make sure you take your props off. And a smoke stopper is very good for this. If you don't know what a smoke stopper is, look below. I've got a link. I believe uh, it'll be a Josh Barbell video because he's already done one. Why, why repeat that? You know, help the guy out. Go watch this if you don't have one of these. And you also need a battery because you actually have to power on your ship for this. So when you plug it in, you're going to connect. Now it's going to be blank. Now what you need to do is power up this, your ship. So plug your battery into your ship. There you go. See, mine's playing the Imperial Death March, and I will show you how to do that. So now that you've got it powered and plugged in, hit Read Setup. Boom. There's everything we need. Now, what the important thing to see here is this right here, the CH25. Those numbers refer to specific chipsets, and what they did is they changed the nomenclature from the old BO Heli because instead of renaming each speed controller that was repackaged for a different company, they just kept on this, the same part, the same code here, so that they wouldn't have this huge list of speed controllers. So it made it a little bit simpler. So you always want to use the same firmware or these little letters that you have. So this is CH25. So first thing we're going to do, yours are probably 1663. So we're going to flash them all. So go down here to flash all. Now, right here, CH25, do not change this. Keep that there. Select version, and we need the newest version, which is 16.6.7 right here. You select that, then you click flash. That's it. It's gonna go and flash all your speed controllers for you. This is a really easy way. This is Chrome, so it'll work on your PC or your Mac. You can also use the BO Heli Suite program, but that only works on Windows, and I don't have Windows. As you can see, I'm on a Mac here. I guess you can't see, but it's just a Mac, so uh, this works really now. Nice. And then, see, here's your motor directions if you need to change those. You don't need to mess with these sliders because we're going to be using D-Shot for all this stuff. And in D-Shot, you don't need to calibrate any of the stuff. It's a digital. Stuff over here, you don't really want to mess with this. Uh, I believe this is all, most of the stuff here. Okay, you don't really want to mess with. This one, this beacon, beacon delay. This is how long until your motors automatically start beacon, beeping. And I have it set on 10 minutes. You can have an infinite if you never want them to beep. Uh, one minute if you want them to start beeping right away. But one of the cool things with Betaflight 3.2 is that you can set this to a switch. So you don't really even need this to, to be on. But I'm, I'm going to have it on uh, for 10 minutes. Now, they're all flash. So you'll see 16, 6, 7, uh, D shot command. That's perfect. Um, now, one thing I want to show you here is this beep strength. I've got it set at 91. Okay. Now, watch this. On the BO Heli startup tones, right here, this is uh, the GitHub for BO Heli, and I'll post this below too. Just You've got different startup tones. So you've got stealth mode, Imperial March, Crazy Start, Game of Thrones, HG startup tone. So you can tell you, you can set this to kind of personalize it a little bit. Beep strength right here. That's where you set this number to tell you what it is. And the beacon strength is how loud you want the motors to be when you use your switch. So you just set this to anything you want, nothing or lower. Uh, if you don't use one of those numbers, that's fine. That's what it'll be. So that's all you got to do to set up for, to flash your speed controllers with the new D shot. Now, the next video, I'll show you some stuff in 3.2 and why you need to have D-Shot. So, I'll end this video. So, then I just unplug 
And here's the Imperial March again. Kind of cool. Whatever. It's up to you. What do you like? And so that we're down there. We just disconnect. And it's, it restarted. So it's it's good to go. If you like this video, subscribe, like, come visit us at Two Dog RC. Not only do we sell the diet tone stuff, we fly it.